Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to When the Stars Aligned. <laughs> my name is Kelly, and in this video I'm going to be talking about human design and astrocartography, and how I've recently played with some interpretations of bringing those systems together. So this video specifically is astrocartography placements for your human design type. Now if you are new to astrocartography or you want a little bit of a rundown, here it is, and I'm going to keep it as simple and hopefully easy to absorb as possible. Astrocartography is locational astrology, or it's the astrology of geography. We are all born, right, with a unique natal chart that is comprised off of our birth details, including the coordinates, the location of where we're born, because where we are born does deeply impact how the constellations are read in certain configurations and what that means for all of the planetary placements in our chart. So in the moment you're born, in that location, it casts the map of your natal chart, which has all of your planetary signs. Now in that exact same moment, planetary lines were doing something across the whole world. So just like you may have heard of ley lines or energy vortexes, these places that have highly condensed or specific energy on the planet, you can think of your astrocartography lines like your own personal ley lines for your soul <laughs> and for for um, the relationship you're going to have in different plates, places on the planet. I truly believe that we are in relationship with the land, that we are in relationship with locations. It's not just this like dead, like unsentient thing. It's, it's sentient. It's a living, breathing relationship. And different places will pull different things out of us or trigger and spark different things within us. And I've experienced this having, you know, lived in many different places around the world in the last 10 years, having chosen a, a bit more of a nomadic pace of life. It's been really helpful for me to utilize that wisdom in astrocartography and help people understand certain places they can go to or places they can visit to activate and to call in different like frequencies in their life or qualities within themselves or to utilize different locations to step into new chapters in their life or whatever that may be, romance, relationship, becoming a mother, um, attracting love or working with business or all of these things. So I'm going to go into this video now, we're going to get right to it, and we're going to look at one placement, one aspect that I think is really good for each human design type. And if you want to have your own more thorough deep dive reading, I offer both human design readings and astrocartography readings, and you can find those in the description below. Next up, let's do reflectors. Reflectors, you are such a rare part of the zodiac like zero percent one percent of the population so you are definitely the and not the zodiac but you know what i mean the human design zodiac you are the anomaly of human design by far hands down you take the cake there's no one built like you reflector i'm actually really hoping that there's a reflector watching this so if you are a reflector please tell me in the comments my mom's a reflector and it's been really amazing to witness how i've gotten so much closer to her the last couple of years um and I do feel like me having this awareness of human design has really helped me like see into her better and like really know how to support her into like blossoming in a way and to navigate the relationship in a beautiful way. It's been really amazing. But reflectors, right? You are you're so sensitive because you don't have anything blocking you from the outside world and you don't even really have a sense of like this like fixed direction. To make you feel like you need to go be a part of the outside world right like projectors like they're you know they kind of got a mission and they're like penetrating and they're looking for the thing they can fix and you know it's like part of their hardwiring they're here to you know offer us the solutions and and the tweaks to the way things flow generators you know they like they definitely got this energy that they need to use and something that they love and these other types they have a somewhat of a directive but a reflector is is here to just sample and experience life and to taste life and to try things on for size and to kind of like modulate and alchemize the energy just by being there so environment is so important for reflectors because you will take on and become your environment um, which can be beautiful if you're in a place that's supportive with good people with good hearts pure intentions but also can be really detrimental if you're not around the right people or you're in a place that just doesn't feel like it brings the best out of you. Um, so when you're a reflector, we really also want to prioritize a sense of peace and relaxation 
the sense of like safety feels really important for reflectors because you're so exposed you have no buffer at all and I feel like you being in a place that feels safe is very important so one of the, the line that I thought of that is most supportive for reflectors is an IC line so the IC is actually opposite of the MC like just like I think MC lines are really good for projectors because projectors inherently just like they really want to be recognized MC is about being recognized so it's like great for that energy reflectors I think you'd thrive a lot more on an IC line IC line is not the outside world and being seen it's the inside world and it's home and it's your roots and I feel like when a per when a reflector has a really good connection to their roots and their sense of like stability and safety and like okay this is where I am I feel so connected to this place this is my home like I feel at ease here often that is what an IC line will bring for somebody a sense of being at home a sense of knowing beyond knowing even if it's somewhere you've never been before you, you might have a sense of like this feels so easy like i feel like I've, I've been here before i feel like maybe this is my home in another life so i feel like that line is really great for reflectors to just give you that sense of peace and familiarity because you're changing so much you're changing all of the time like the moon <laughs> so something that's familiar is so good for you and that's why a lot of reflectors you know, I've studied some like famous reflectors and I know a few reflectors personally, they, you know, family typically is like really important for them. Or maybe even like where they grew up because it's familiar. <laughs> like they need to feel something familiar. Now we might be better off looking at our astrocartography sometimes and just like picking something that feels familiar because just because something's familiar doesn't mean it's always going to like be good for you. <laughs> so an IC line brings you that soul feeling of familiarity that energetic feeling of familiarity, even if it's not like physically familiar. So with astrocartography, you never have just one line, like, oh, this is my IC line. It's always an aspect with another planet or asteroid. So I think that for reflectors, I see on the moon line, because the moon is your authority. You have lunar authority. You need, you need to wait those 28 days before you really understand how you feel about something and you might not even be able to make a choice then <laughs> like you might just know how you feel and then you might need to wait another 28 days before you make a decision the worst thing we can do is push we need ample amount of space and time to just feel safe and to figure things out and sample and digest so i think moon line like moon on the ic line is really good for reflectors to have that emotional authority not the emotional, the lunar authority and that emotional influence to like support them to ride out the waves of their, you know, process of coming to clarity and to give themselves the time to be cyclical and rhythmic. And I know I just said a moon line for projectors, but they're different. And that's the fascinating thing about astrocartography. You know, I feel like astrocartography level one is you're just like, oh, this is my Venus line, and this is my sun line. But when you go deeper, there are like so many iterations. It's about the aspects, it's about your unique chart. So how someone feels on a moon on the MC line is gonna be very different than someone would feel on a moon on the IC line, because the MC and the IC are inherently doing totally opposite things, right? So one is really good for reflectors, the moon on the IC. So yeah, that's what we got for astrocartography and human design. I was so excited to make this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have lived on any of those lines or visited them as your unique human design type. And yeah, let me know if you want to hear any other lines specifically. And yeah, I'm making this video today from my moon line, which has been good for me. It's been very stabilizing for me being on my moon line. Maybe I'll make a video about that. I was spending a lot of time on a Mars line until I finally decided to put myself on my moon line and that's been really nourishing for me um but yeah i'm gonna cut this here and i hope you enjoyed and i look forward to maybe hearing from you or catching you on the next video okay bye